My name is Dr. Andy Geyer. I'm a consultant clinical oncologist. So I treat patients with chemotherapy and radiotherapy, largely gastrointestinal cancers. So that's cancers of the, the upper GI tract, so cancers of the esophagus, stomach and pancreas, um, and the liver, and then the lower GI tract, so the, the colon and the rectum as well. Well, I've heard anecdotal stories from patients over many years. Uh, as an oncologist, many of our patients uh, uh, take uh, additional medications, supplementary medications, um, vitamin supplements, anti-inflammatories, um, and increasingly uh, CBD or, or cannabis oil. Many patients are very happy to admit that they take these, these supplements, um, others less so. But uh, increasingly as I ask patients, uh, I'm finding that more and more of them are actually taking uh, either CBD or THC or a, a combination of them both. Um, and they seem to be helped by it. Many of, many of my patients do find uh, that they get symptomatic relief from the use of uh, cannabis-based medications, um, whether they're obtaining them themselves or via a clinic such as Intergro. And, and recently I've referred a few patients in to Intergro and been very impressed with some of the results, not just for pain control, um, but for nausea, for anxiety, for poor sleep, uh, there are multiple uh, cancer symptoms for which um, uh, these cannabis-based medications do seem to help. I think over the, over the years, there has been um, a little bit of a grey area in terms of the prescription of cannabis-based medicines. It, it, it's very much seen as a grey area. There have been some concerns over the, the legality of it. Um, but as an oncologist, I accept that many of my patients are using these medications. The Integro Clinic has been set up uh, with the approval of the GMC. It's CQC registered. Um, there are really good high quality clinicians practicing there. Every case is discussed at an MDT. Uh, every prescription is peer reviewed. Um, and every patient's prescription is completely individualized. So, I feel very comfortable in sending my patients there and, and, and treating patients that, uh, uh, that they're getting high quality medical care that has proper, good quality clinical governance and peer review oversight as well. It's been a very positive experience. The patients that uh, I've, I've sent in before I uh, became a member of the clinic myself uh, were, were, were seen very rapidly, um, they got their prescriptions very rapidly, the prescriptions were completely individualised with a, with a unique balance of, of, of THC versus CBD um, uh, to cover their particular uh, set of symptoms um, and the feedback coming from the patients has really been very positive indeed so um, um, all in all I don't, I don't have anything negative to say. I think it can help in a, in a number of ways as an adjunct to conventional medications. In oncology, um, we have um, a number of symptoms, in, in, especially in, in gastrointestinal oncology, a number of symptoms that, that can affect patients' quality of life, not just pain. Um, I'm talking about symptoms such as anxiety, uh, weight loss, poor sleep. Um, there are many symptoms for which cannabis-based medicines, such as THC and CBD, different combinations of them both, um, and the terpenes, uh, can help to, to alleviate these symptoms. Um, and what impresses me is the way that the prescription can be individualized. So by, by looking at what symptoms are affecting the patient's quality of life most, be that anxiety or nausea or poor sleep or pain, um, a prescription can be completely individualised for them and then that, that thus reduces the side effects and improves their quality of life with minimal side effects in addition to standard um, you know, opiate and other medications that we would use for cancer patients.